This is one of a series of videos on Nebraska's system of classifying and applying standards to its highways, roads, and streets. This video introduces basic information about Nebraska's functional classification system and the national functional classification system. There is also discussion about jurisdictional responsibility for highways, roads, and streets in Nebraska. First, some terminology and acronyms. NBCS is the Nebraska Board of Public Roads, Classifications and Standards. It may also be called the Board of Public Roads or just the Board. NDOT is the Nebraska Department of Transportation. Standards refers to the NBCS standards including design, construction, maintenance, and relaxation of standards. MDS refers to the minimum design standards, which address only the design aspect of a work or project. Standards are often termed minimum, but realize there are maximums for super elevation and grade, and ranges for cross slopes. When we say minimum, sometimes it refers to all of those. NEB Rev STAT refers to the Nebraska Revised Statutes. NAC is the Nebraska Administrative Code. These are regulations that have the force of law. The word highway in Nebraska law also refers to roads and streets. Highway means the entire width between the boundary limits of any street, road, avenue, boulevard, or way which is publicly maintained when any part is open to the use of the public for purposes of vehicular travel. 3R is short for Resurfacing Restoration and Rehabilitation. For more details, see the video dedicated to 3R. FC is Functional Classification. CFR is the Code of Federal Regulations. ASHTO is the acronym for the American Association of State Highway Transportation Officials. NBCS Rules and Regulations in Title 428 can be found on the Secretary of State's website listed under the Department of Transportation. Title 428, Nebraska Administrative Code Chapter 1 can be accessed at the web link shown on this screen. It can also be accessed on the Department of Transportation's website under Business Center, Local Public Agencies, Boards, Liaison Services, and then clicking on the Downloadable Documents link. State Statute 39-2101 is a declaration that provides a broad overview or the big picture view of 1969 legislation, which was a significant change in Nebraska's approach to its system of highways, roads, and streets. The Nebraska legislature recognized, determined, and declared that an integrated system of public roads is essential to the general welfare of the state. This concept of an integrated system of roads shown here is taken from Ashto's a Policy on Geometric Design of Highways and Streets, also known as the Green Book, the 6th edition, 2011. The schematic illustration shows desire lines of travel, with circles representing trip origins and destinations, and line thickness representing relative amounts of travel desire. The sizes of the circles indicate the relative trip generating and attracting power of the places shown. The thicker lines represent more desire or volume, as between cities and towns, and the smaller lines represent less desire, as between farms and villages. Because it is impractical to provide direct line connections for every desire line, trips should be channelized on a limited road network in the manner shown in the bottom schematic illustration. Heavy travel movements are served directly, or nearly so, and the smaller movements are channeled into somewhat indirect paths. The facilities in the illustration are labeled local access, collector, and arterial, which are terms that describe their functional relationships. In this scheme, the functional hierarchy is also seen to be related to the hierarchy of trip distances served by the network. A more complete illustration of a functionally classified rural network is shown in this figure which is also taken from the Green Book. Arterial highways generally provide direct service between cities and larger towns that generate and attract a large proportion of the relatively longer trips. Roads of the intermediate functional category, collectors, serve small towns directly 
connecting them to the arterial network. Roads of this category collect traffic from local roads serving individual farms and other rural land uses or distribute traffic to these local roads from the arterials. The previous screen had a rural setting. The same basic concepts apply in urban and suburban areas and a similar hierarchy of systems can be defined. This screen shows a schematic illustration of a functionally classified suburban street network. Because of the high intensity of land use and travel in urban and suburban areas, specific travel generation centers are more difficult to identify. In these areas, additional considerations, such as the spacing of intersections, become more important in defining a logical and efficient network. Fundamental to the development of an integrated system of public roads is a determination of the function that each road segment serves. That is how this video fits into the big picture. Through adoption by law of a functional classification system, it is the intent of the legislature that each segment of public road shall be identified according to the function it serves. That permits the establishment of uniform standards for design, construction, and maintenance. For the purposes of functional classification, State Statute 39-2102 creates two broad categories, rural highways and municipal streets. Note the word public. Not all roads are public. Examples are internal cemetery and park roads that are not open to traffic 24 hours a day, roads in sanitary improvement districts, and roads and streets that have blue street name signs are not public. This screen summarizes the six Nebraska Municipal Functional Classifications in State Statute 39-2104 and starting on page 10 of Title 428, Nebraska Administrative Code, Chapter 1. The six classifications are Interstate, Expressway, Major Arterial, Other Arterial, Collector, and Local. A short description is shown for each on this screen. The entity responsible the state or the municipality for each classification within corporate limits is also listed. State Statute 39-2105 assigns these responsibilities. The state is responsible for all interstate, for all expressway except for those of a purely local nature, and for major arterial. The exception in the footnote at the bottom of the screen will be explained on the next screen. In this system of classification, there is a trade-off between mobility and access. The interstate system is high speed with relatively few access points, providing excellent mobility. Expressways typically have a lesser speed limit, some allow at-grade accesses at certain intervals, and therefore don't have as much mobility relative to an interstate. Skipping down to the local classification, a street may have many driveways providing frequent access, and traffic moves slower. Mobility increases going up the list and access increases going down the list. Regarding the footnote on the previous screen which read, the municipality is responsible for that portion that exceeds the design of the rural highway that leads into the municipality. Since the state is responsible for all roads classified as interstate, the footnote applies only to municipal extensions of state highways with a state functional classification of expressway or major arterial. State Statute 39-2105 reads, when the design of a rural highway differs at the different points where it leads into the municipality, the state's responsibility for the municipal extension, therefore, shall be limited to the lesser of the two designs. This screen shows an example of what this means. On the right side of the screen, the rural state highway entering corporate limits is 22 feet wide. On the left side of the screen, the rural highway leaving corporate limits is 24 feet wide. According to State Statute 39-2105, the municipality has jurisdictional responsibility for that portion which exceeds the design of the rural portion. If the two rural portions are different, which they are in this example, the municipality is responsible for that portion which exceeds the lesser of the two designs. So in this example, the state is responsible for the 22-foot width and the municipality is responsible for that portion which exceeds the 22-foot width. For works or projects on a state highway, there may be some cost sharing required for the municipality. 
Usually this affects only cities with a population of over 5,000 and is a function of the number of through traffic lanes. For further information, you may request a copy of Department of Roads Instruction 60-11, Municipal Sharing. Also note that there are usually interlocal agreements between the municipality and the Nebraska Department of Roads for mowing, snow removal, and other activities. This screen summarizes the nine Nebraska Rural Functional Classifications in State Statute 39-2103 and starting on page 2 of Title 428, Nebraska Administrative Code, Chapter 1. The rural category means that only roads outside corporate limits can have these classifications. The nine classifications are Interstate, Expressway, Major Arterial, Scenic Recreation, Other Arterial, Collector, Local, Minimum Maintenance, and Remote Residential. A short description is shown for each. Three additional classifications made available by the legislature for the rural category that weren't included in the municipal category are Scenic Recreation, Minimum Maintenance, and Remote Residential. A road classified as local that meets minimum maintenance classification criteria may be reclassified as minimum maintenance. Likewise, a road classified as local that meets remote residential criteria may be reclassified as remote residential. In a sense, the minimum maintenance and remote residential classifications are optional classifications. Scenic recreation is the only classification that goes with another classification and is also considered an optional classification. The next screens will explain this. The entity responsible, the state or the county, for each classification outside corporate limits is also listed. State Statute 39-2105 assigns these responsibilities. The state is responsible for rural interstate, rural expressway, rural major arterial, and for any scenic recreation major arterials that the state was responsible for prior to the addition of the scenic recreation classification. Similar to the municipal classification, mobility increases going up the list and access increases going down the list. About the scenic recreation classification, it is the only classification that goes with another classification. What this means is that any rural highway or road which already has a state functional classification of major arterial, other arterial, collector, or local, may also be classified as scenic recreation. Roads with a state functional classification of interstate or expressway are not eligible for the scenic recreation classification. This screen lists all of the possible scenic recreation state functional classifications. There are four possibilities. Scenic recreation major arterial, scenic recreation other arterial, Scenic Recreation Collector, and Scenic Recreation Local. Refer to Title 428, Nebraska Administrative Code, Chapter 1, pages 14 through 17, for the criteria for each of these classifications. Referring to the footnote at the bottom of the screen, the jurisdictional responsibility of all scenic recreation roads and highways shall remain with a governmental subdivision which had jurisdictional responsibility for such road or highway prior to its change in classification to scenic recreation. The scenic recreation classification can be thought of as an added layer of classification on top of the road's required functional classification. Referring to State Statute 39.21.13, Paragraph 2, the purpose of this classification is to allow less restrictive and more flexible design standards and to minimize environmental disruption. The state highway system is required to serve every incorporated municipality having a minimum population of 100 or sufficient commerce. This may be provided by stubs or highway spurs. Nebraska's major recreational areas must be served by stubs, spurs, county roads, or roads classified as scenic recreation. The state is responsible in rural areas to provide connecting links between the interstate and the nearest existing state highway or provide an acceptable alternative route. The legislature in State Statute 39-2109 made the Board of Public Roads Classifications and Standards responsible to develop criteria for functional classification. Those criteria are expressed in Title 428, Nebraska Administrative Code, Chapter 1. The legislature in State Statute 39-2110 
made the Nebraska Department of Transportation responsible to assign each public highway, road, and street a functional classification. For county roads and municipal streets, the department consults with the county or the municipality, respectively. Since all streets and roads now have a functional classification, requests are for new streets and roads. A county or municipality may appeal to the Board of Public Roads Classifications and Standards, NBCS, for any functional classification assignment made by the Nebraska Department of Transportation. A public hearing may be held. The NBCS makes their decision, which can be further appealed. State law provides for reclassifying existing highways, roads, and streets. A change in traffic patterns, traffic types, and volumes may trigger a reclassification request. This screen shows some examples, such as a new bypass and annexation, adding the scenic recreation classification, or changing to a minimum maintenance classification. Reclassification affects the standards to which a highway, road, or street is built and may also have funding implications. Reclassification requests are submitted to the Nebraska Department of Transportation. If the request involves the remote residential classification, the county must hold a public hearing prior to the request. Requests will be granted in whole or in part or will be denied by the Nebraska Department of Transportation. Counties and municipalities may appeal to the Board of Public Roads, Classifications and Standards, as mentioned previously in this presentation. For any segment of highway, road or street, how does a person find its functional classification? The Nebraska Department of Transportation maintains this information in its databases and on maps. Your county or municipality may have its own matching records identifying the functional classification of each road or street. A county or municipality wishing to identify the functional classification of a road or street would therefore review its own records or get the appropriate map from the Nebraska Department of Transportation in one of two ways. Online, there will be a short tutorial in a few moments how to do that, or paper, which can be requested from the DOT. Just a cautionary note that maps do change occasionally. The map that is online in the DOT's map library may not always be the latest. For classification or reclassification, consultation between the Nebraska Department of Transportation and political jurisdictions is required by State Statute 392110. Therefore, the responsible party at the county or municipality should be aware of any pending changes. If there is any question or a need for help in verifying or establishing functional classification of a public highway, road, or street, contact the Nebraska Department of Transportation as shown on this screen. Maps and reclassification guidance can be found online using the web links shown on this screen. In order to find the state functional classification map for your highway, road, or street of interest, on the DOT's main web page on the Travel tab, Select the Map Library. In the Map Library, select the State and National Functional Classification Maps by City if the highway or street of interest is within the corporate limits of a municipality. Or, just below that, the State and National Functional Classification Maps by County if the highway or road of interest is in a rural area. Shortly, this video will address the National Functional Classification System. As an example, let's find the state functional classification for 325th Avenue south of St. Edward in Boone County. On the map library screen, click the state and national functional classification maps by county. That will bring up the county map index. Click on the state link to get the state functional classification map for the county of interest. In this case, Boone County. That gets you to the county's state functional classification map, Boone County in this example. The legend identifies the map as state functional classification. St. Edward is in the southeastern corner of the county. 325th Avenue south of St. Edward is color coded purple on the map. Therefore, it has a state functional classification of collector. As mentioned previously, the federal government has its own system of functional classification. 
Refer to the Code of Federal Regulations, CFR, Title 23, Part 470, also known as 23 CFR 470. Refer to the publication shown on the screen, Highway Functional Classification Concepts, Criteria, and Procedures, for more information about the National Functional Classification System. It is available online. Classification is a systematic hierarchy of roads which depends on the character of travel service it provides. Mobility and access are the two main determining factors as to how to classify roads. Other factors are trip length, speed limit, traffic volume, and vehicle mix. The national system has some differences with the state system of classification. Nebraska state statutes created two broad categories, municipal and rural. Municipal is defined as the corporate limits. The national system also creates two broad categories, but they are slightly different and are termed urban and rural. Urban is the urbanized area, which is sometimes, but not necessarily, the same as corporate limits. This screen describes urban and rural areas as used in the national system of functional classification. Urban areas are the more densely populated areas, are determined by census, and defined as populations 5,000 and greater. The actual boundaries are determined by local and state officials with approval by the U.S. Secretary of Transportation. Rural areas are all areas not designated as urban. State Statute 16-101 requires cities of the first class to have a population more than 5,000. Therefore, the way the national system is defined, urban applies only in and around cities of the first class and the Lincoln and Omaha areas. If your highway, road, or street of interest is in one of these cities, it is in an urban area. And if it is near the corporate limits of any one of these, then you need to verify if it is in the urban area. How you do that is to check the map on the DOT's website, which we will show momentarily. First, let's review the classifications in the national system. There are seven classifications in the national system. They are interstate, other freeways and expressways, other principal arterial, minor arterial, major collector, minor collector, and local. Urban areas and rural areas both use these classifications. Classifications in bold font are those that typically would apply to roads and streets within counties and municipalities. Although most of the other principal arterial classification is on the state highway system. Interstate is always and other freeways and expressways are typically on the state highway system. For any segment of highway road or street, how does a person find its functional classification? As it does with the state functional classification system, the Nebraska Department of Transportation also maintains national functional classification information in its databases and on maps. Finding the national functional classification is the same process that was demonstrated earlier for the state functional classification system. There are maps available online or by request. Just a cautionary note that maps do change occasionally. The map that is online in the DOT's map library may not always be the latest. In order to find the national functional classification map for your highway road or street of interest, on the Nebraska Department of Transportation's main webpage, on the Travel tab, select the Map Library. In the Map Library, select the State and National Functional Classification Maps by City if the highway or street of interest is in an urban area. Remember, urban areas in Nebraska are located at cities of the first class and Lincoln and Omaha. Or, just below that, the State and National Functional Classification Maps by County if the highway or road of interest is in a rural area. As an example, let's find the national functional classification for 325th Avenue south of St. Edward in Boone County. On the map library screen, click the state and national functional classification maps by county. That will bring up the county map index. Click on the national link to get the national functional classification map for the county of interest. In this case, Boone County. That gets you to the county's national functional classification map. Boone County, in this example. 
The legend identifies the map as National Functional Classification. St. Edward is in the southeastern corner of the county. 325th Avenue south of St. Edward is color-coded yellow on the map. Therefore, it has a National Functional Classification of Minor Collector. Let's do an example for a highway road or street of interest near an urban area. Remember, an urban area defined in the national system is an area with 5,000 population and greater. So we need to be near a city of the first class or Lincoln or Omaha. The city of Hastings is a city of the first class. In the map library, select the state and national functional classification maps by city. Select the national map for the city of Hastings. Only the national map will show urban area boundaries. This is the southeast part of the city of Hastings in Adams County. The map identifies the corporate limits. The urban area boundary is the crosshatched line. As you can see, the urban area boundary is not always the same as the corporate limits. The state and national systems do not correlate with one another exactly. Several classification names are different. The criteria used to define each classification is not described exactly the same. The two broad categories differ slightly. The state uses corporate limits. The federal government uses the urban boundary. And Nebraska has the three additional rural classifications listed at the bottom. A road classified nationally as local is not necessarily classified as local on the state functional classification system. It could be any of the three optional classifications or even a higher classification such as a collector. Let's do another example. You want to find both the state and national functional classifications of the east-west county road just north of Wilbur in Saline County. First, the state functional classification. You get to the map for Saline County by selecting the state and national functional classification maps by county on the DOT's map library webpage, then selecting the state option for Saline County on the county index webpage. This is the map of the area. The road is not color coded, therefore the state functional classification is local. See the note at the bottom of the legend. Next, the national functional classification. You get to the map for Saline County by selecting the state and national functional classification maps by county on the DOT's map library webpage, then selecting the national option for Saline County on the county index webpage. If Wilbur happened to be a city of the first class, which it is not, you may need to check state and national functional classification maps by city. This is the map of the area. The road is not color coded. The national functional classification is local. See the note at the bottom of the legend. This final segment is a short review of what was discussed in this video with questions. When it comes time to answering a review question, you have the option of pausing the video before the answer is given. This video provided basic information on Nebraska's functional classification system, jurisdictional responsibility of public highways, roads, and streets in Nebraska, and the national functional classification system. The state is responsible for the three higher classifications, counties and municipalities for the three lower classifications, there are the special cases of the rural optional classifications and the municipal extensions. Which entity is responsible to assign the Nebraska state functional classifications? The DOT, the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services, the Federal Highway Administration, or the County Board? The Nebraska Department of Transportation is responsible for assigning each highway road and street segment a state functional classification. Which entity hears appeals of assigned Nebraska State Functional Classifications? The Board of Examiners for County Highway and City Street Superintendents, the Nebraska Board of Public Roads Classifications and Standards, the League of Municipalities, or the Nebraska Board of Engineers and Architects. The Nebraska Board of Public Roads Classifications and Standards hears appeals of assigned Nebraska State Functional Classifications.
which entity approves the assignment of national functional classification to highway road and street segments the board of examiners for county highway and city street superintendents the nebraska board of public roads classifications and standards the league of municipalities or the federal highway administration the federal highway administration or fhwa approves national functional classification assignments proposed by the dot this is a reminder if there is any question or need for help in verifying or establishing functional classification of a public highway road or street contact the nebraska department of transportation as shown on this screen maps and reclassification guidance can be found online using the web links shown on this screen this is one of a series of videos on Nebraska's system of classifying and applying standards to its highways, roads, and streets. This video introduced basic information about Nebraska's functional classification system and the national functional classification system. It also discussed jurisdictional responsibility for highways, roads, and streets in Nebraska.